Lee, thanks for joining me today. Asking you a few questions about the award that you won at the Nest Business Awards and, and how the club's going and how it started. Hey, you're welcome. Thanks for the invitation. Yeah, it's brilliant. It's good to have you here. So I suppose first thing is, when was it you opened Rings Boxing Club and how did it grow in those early days? Uh, we, we opened in the August of 2019. Mm -hmm. it, was, um, it started pretty slow. We actually, by the Christmas time, I think I was up to about 50 members, which was uh, 20, 2020, mm -hmm. coming up for January 2020. Um, when the, obviously 2020 was the big, the big year for me. So something I, happened. Didn't something I can't happened. What it was now. About the boss. Just <laughs> as I was starting to get going, mm -hmm. I'd go up to about 80 members, and then mm -hmm. I, but I think that I think the magic number was like 65 mm -hmm. or something like that. Yeah. And then, obviously, everything went out the window then with COVID. Yeah. So, what, what did you do for those COVID uh, days when, when uh, they had that horrible time? We we offered, uh, obviously, we offered um, Zoom Zoom classes. Yeah. So we did a lot of Zoom classes. And we lost a lot of members. Not many people wanted to do Zoom. Hardly anybody did. We got quite a lot of the kids that were in the club stayed. So we had, I think, we had 15 people on Zoom. So we offered Zoom classes every day. One Zoom class every day. And just kept for, it going. Just kept the whole period, forward. yeah. And then when, when the, when we came out the next one lockdown, which was around July time, yeah, we could go out in pub gardens or in the park. And there was a pub locally, so we went in there. The pubs couldn't open, mm -hmm. so we went in the beer garden. So yeah, well, why not? Why yeah, why not? <laughs> so, so what was it you were doing for a living before you opened Rings? Uh, I, I, I've i lived in... I've got, to, I've got to be more specific with this. <laughs> it's been a journey. So, okay. 2000, I was a bricklayer. What? Right. Uh, my father died, and when we talked, it was always like, your dream, my dream. My, our last conversation was my dream was to be a full-time boxing coach. And he'd always told me, you had to be a bricklayer. That was it. <laughs> and even at 30, 32 years old, I was like, yeah. And I, earning, earning a good wage, doing, yeah. doing well. And when he passed away, the last conversation we had was about what I wanted to do. And he was, he was quite sad that it, it sort of dampened my dreams. So when he passed away, it took me about a year to get over that with grief and everything. And, yeah. refocused my life because I wanted to do what I wanted to do and now I moved down to Bournemouth and started down there as a boxing coach. I think that's brilliant I mean like a lot of our clients you know chasing your dreams doing this yeah and teaching martial arts yeah. and boxing is is brilliant yeah. Yeah. so I, so I started that so because I'm I've gone on too long there I'm end up in Bournemouth for five years mm -hmm. and then moved to Norway I was in wow. Norway for 13 years so rings at boxing club actually started January uh, August 2019 but I've been doing it for 25 years. Wow. Okay. So, so, so what have you been doing since the awards? How's the, how's the club grown? Yeah, it's grown exponentially, really. Yeah. We've, we're now up to, I think we're 185 on the membership this, this, uh, wow. this month. So that's really, so, it has grown. Yeah, wow, it's really, and it's still growing. It's well, still you growing. You've got the best newcomer for a reason, right? You know? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. It's yeah. Really and it's well. drove me on as well, bro. Right, now I've got that. Well, Ooh. what can I get for next year? Great stuff. So knowing what you know now, what do you think you would do differently? Uh, my, my thing at the moment is I'm building up a team. Mm -hmm. So my team's my retention and my customer service. I'm very good at uh, offering a world-class service. And now the next thing is to, to build that team up yep. that can provide that, that, that service that I'm looking for. So that's the plans for the future that's as well? That's what I'm doing right Obviously. now, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. really good. Cool. So if you could give one piece of advice to another boxer or a martial artist who's thinking of opening a club, what do you think it would be? I would say, if it's in your heart, go for it. You know, yep. if it's in your heart, go for it. I was earning a thousand pounds a week as a bricklayer 25 years ago. I'm it's not really earning that now, but still. But, but you're enjoying I'm it. I'm doing something I really love. I hated doing what I was doing. <laughs> so I follow, like I tell my students, and I think as martial artists, we tell all our students, yep. follow your heart and do what you love. Yeah, couldn't so. agree more. And finally, I know you're there this year at the Ness Martial Arts Business Awards. What will you be seeing you next year? And do you think you'll be in line for another award like uh, or like business growth? That's that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Brilliant. That's so the we're plan. going to see you there, and you're going to get business growth. That's, that's what I expect that's, to see. That's you what there. I'm expecting to get. So <laughs> fantastic, Lee. That's been brilliant. Thanks yeah, very much. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.